Okay, now for question number five <clears throat> from C1 June 2018 GCE paper, which is also corresponding to question number six of my practice paper C uh, for the IAL P1 students. Here we have question number five, and we have to. Um, well, I'm going to do this question is so massive on this page. I've done this. So we can see it better and see the questions at the same time. So figure one shows a sketch of a curve with the equation y equals f of x. The curve crosses the y-axis at 0, 4, crosses the x-axis at 5, 0. The curve has a single turning point at 2, 7. The line with the equation y equals 1 is the only asymptote to the curve. It's an asymptote in the side of the curve when x is negative. State the coordinates of the turning point on the curve with the equation y equals f of x minus 2. So this is inside the function where there's a change occurred. The original function is y equals f of x. y equals f of x. So that's the original function. And the change has taken place inside the function. So it's going to be a horizontal transformation. So it's a tri And something's being subtracted. When something's added or subtracted to or from the function or to or from inside the function, it's always a translation. So this is horizontal. So it's going to be a horizontal translation. And it always takes the opposite of the sign that's here. So if it's x minus 2, it's going to be two spaces to the right. So it's going to be 2, 0. It's a translation of vector 2, 0. Okay, so now that means uh, we want to find the coordinates of the turning point. The turning point at the moment is 2, 7. Okay, so we have to basically add 2 to the x value. So when it's a translation that's horizontal, the y values don't change. So the y value will be 7 as it is. But the x value is going to change by being added. You're going to add 2 to it. So you're going to add 2 to the y value. 2 plus 2 is 4. So 4, 7 is the solution. Okay, that's the answer to part A. And then part B, it says, state the solution of the equation f2x equals 0. Again, this is a change that's taking place inside the function. So it has an effect horizontally. And when you're multiplying, it's something to do with the stretch. Okay, so it's a horizontal stretch. And again, inside the function acts abnormally. Okay, so if it says 2 times x inside the function, that means the stretch factor is going to be the reciprocal of 2, which is a half. So it's a horizontal stretch of the scale factor will be a half instead of two. So what does that mean? We take the x values and we multiply them by a half. So we're gonna divide this one by two basically. So it's gonna become, the answer is gonna become one and seven. That's what the, the oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Read the question, read the question. I didn't read the question. It says state the solution of the equation f2x equals zero. So the solution at the moment is five zero. The solution of the equation f2x equals 0. So the solution of fx equals 0. Okay, the solution of fx equals 0. That's the solution, 5, 0. Okay, so what's going to happen to this solution? Of course, we can't find the solution because, we, uh, you know, algebraically, because we don't know the equation of the curve. So we have to use transformations. So what's going to happen to this curve of f y, y equals f2x as compared to f of x? Well, it's a, as we just mentioned, it's a horizontal stretch of scale factor half. So the x value of this solution, the solution means where this hits the x-axis when y is 0, which is here. So the solution is going to be that you multiply the x-coordinate by a half. So it's 5 times a half, which is 2.5. Okay, so for the answers for b, is going to be 5. You're going to divide this by 2. So it's going to be 2.5 and 0. Okay, so always read the question. I didn't read the question properly in the beginning. So always make sure you read the question. I'm kind of in a hurry here because I want to finish this before you guys have your exam. Um, <clears throat> a few more questions left on this paper. Now state the equation of the asymptote to the curve with the equation y equals f minus x. So again, it's a change that's taken place inside the function. Now when you change the sign of the function, it's got something to do with the reflection. Okay, so here, if it's outside the function, it's the y values that change. If it's inside the function, it's the x values that change. So here, what happens? The asymptote is y equals 1. Okay, so that's going to be reflected in the y-axis. So there's no nothing to change here in terms of the coordinates. So we didn't give a coordinate, but the you see, this, this is going to be reflected in the y-axis. It's a, it's a horizontal transformation. If you reflect this in the y-axis, it doesn't change. So it's going to just be y equals minus y equals 1 again. 
be the same thing as before. If you reflect this in the y-axis, it just goes over itself. Okay, so there's no change for that one. So these are the answers for part A, B, and C. And then it says part D, given that the line with equation y equals k, where k is a constant, meets the curve y equals f of x at only one point, state the set of possible values for k. Okay, so now um, I'm going to draw a line. y equals k is always going to be a horizontal line. Let me, let me make it a bit thinner so it doesn't look so... Okay, make it a bit thinner. So this is a line y equals k. Okay, whoops. y equals k will always be horizontal. Okay, that's a horizontal line. That's y equals k. Now, um, any, any horizontal line will be y equals a number. And k, they said, is a constant. So for example, that's y equals 4. That's y equals minus 1. That's y equals 0. That will be y equals 7, and so on. So the question is telling us that um, the, the line y equals k meets the y curve y equals f of x at only one point. State the set of possible values for k. So you can see, for example, here, it meets the curve at two points. All the way up here, all the way up here, two points, two points, two points. But at the point where it turns, when y is equal to 7, Okay, so if the, if, if, it's a, if the line is y equals 7, it's going to meet it at one point. So one possible value is when k equals 7. But here, if you notice, it says the range of possible values, the set of possible values. So there could be other values. And the other... Okay, so when y equals um, 7, okay, whoops, when k is equal to 7, just, when k is equal to 7, there's one solution. And then... When k is equal, see all the way down here, two solutions, two solutions, two solutions, two solutions, two solutions. As soon as you hit one, there's one solution again. Okay, when y is equal to one, it will only, the curve will only hit the, this line at one place because y equals one is an asymptote on this side. So when y equals one, okay, it will, it will not touch on this side, only this side. So when y is equal to one, and also when y is below one, when y is less than one, it will also have only one solution. So when y is less than or equal to 1 is another, um, you know, when any line where y is less than or equal to 1 will also have basically only one solution. So they said y equals k, so k is less than or equal to, to 1. Okay, so we have the, the set of values for k will be k <coughs> is equal to 7 or k is less than or equal to 1. Equal as well as important. So there we have the answer to this question.